Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. If uh, we have source S1 and source S2 and we need to merge them so that we get sorted output, which transformation would you use in SSIS? So let's go to the SSDT or bids and perform this uh, real quick. So to, as we are talking about the transformation, transformations are available in the data flow task. Bring the data flow task to the control flow pan and open it and as we are reading uh, we need two sources so we are going to get two sources here i'm going to use the oladb source and read the data from the sql table and uh, here i'm going to read the data from customer table these are the columns i have let's go back preview the data it is returning as five records now i'm going to bring uh, the second uh, source that's also going to be oladb source i'm going to read from another table that's the customer underscore asia hit columns preview this is also returning us five records as uh, our requirement in the question is uh, we want to get the data from two sources so this is one source one this is source two and then we want to generate a sorted output so what transformation we can use it the merge transformation is a transformation that accept uh, so uh, sorted inputs uh, and uh, it uh, outputs a uh, sorted data so that's the transformation we can use it uh, here, I'm going to use uh, the sort transformation to sort the data for source 1 and the source 2 and then just uh, uh, give input to the merge join, uh, merge. I'm going to sort the data on uh, IDs, I can sort on in the different columns, so whatever I want. In. So I selected three columns in this case and I'm going to get another sort and then join the second source and sort the data on ID name and first name. One important thing we need to remember that the, the names of the columns can be different when we are um, using in the merge but the metadata or the data type of those columns should be the same. So we sorted them now connect to the merge and if you guys see that the only thing uh, in, in the inputs it's in merge input 1 and merge input 2 so merge uh, merge only accept uh, two inputs uh, and it gives us uh, one output uh, that's important in the case of uh, union all uh, it can accept uh, multiple outputs more than even two and then give us output but that's not sorted output but we are looking right now where we can create sorted output so we need to use merge um, transformation let's bring the multicast here uh, this will be used as a test purpose i can write directly to some uh, destination but i don't want to waste time on uh, writing it uh, and creating tables and all that so i'm going to just uh, put a multicast here as for test purpose and implement uh, data viewer between the transformation so i can show you the data it is sorted or not so we are reading from two sources as in our question and then uh, we want to get the sorted output but and in this case we are using merge transformation run the package and see the output what we see here we see the data is sorted uh, now we can see id 1 1 as a uh, id is duplicate coming from both tables pretty much the same data so that's why we have the you know id 1 and 1 uh, 3 and 3 4 and 4 but it is sorted output so that that's uh, it for this question and uh, just to tell you a little more if uh, you do not need a sorted output data you can always use a union that will be better as sort is a uh, expensive operation and it loads all the records in the memory and then sort them before even the merge before even merging uh, those records thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video